Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to create the custom mask transition. So first of all you need a clip on which you want to mask out your person. So in my case this will be my clip. Now you just need to rotoscope your person. So if you don't know how to rotoscope then watch this video first. So in my case I used the free version of runwayml.com and now I just drag and drop this video clip into the timeline. So now it should look like this. Okay, now go with your rotoscope clip into Fusion. Press Shift and Space by the same time and search for Delta Keyer. Select Delta Keyer and press Add. Then go into the inspector and change the background color to the green screen color. Okay, and now I need another clip for the mask movement. So in my case I will use this fire green screen video which is completely free. So just drag and drop this video into the node field and drag it up right here. Then copy and paste the delta key node by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now select your merge node and change the operator from over to mask. And now it will look like this. So maybe we just need another time frame of the green screen video. So I select the media in 2 node and I press shift and space by the same time. Search for time speed. Select time speed and press add. So this step is only optional and now I will change the delay value. Also you can play around with the speed value and make sure that the interpolation mode is set to blend. So for now the transition looks like this. And if you want to you can also add the transform node between the delta key node and the merge 1 node. So here you can adjust the mask size and the position. Ok if you are done with this just go back into the edit page. Now just drag and drop these two clips one layer up and drag them over another existing clip. Then just cut the background of your second clip a little bit and delete the left part of it. So now it should look like this. Maybe I will trim the background a little bit more. But for me the transition is not smooth enough. So I open the effects tab. Then I go to video transitions and drag and drop a blur dissolve transition onto your background clip. Now decrease the transition length to your liking. So now it should look like this, it's much more smoother. And I guess that's it for this video. So I hope this video has helped you. If so then leave a like or sub to my channel. Check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions. And thanks to all channel members, thanks for your support, stay creative and bye.